Can anyone catch Real Madrid at the top of La Liga? 20 successive wins by Real Madrid in all competitions now. It's an astonishing record. But their 4-1 win against Almeria at the Estadio dos Juegos Mediterráneos on Friday night did flatter them a little bit. Of course, they've got tremendous potency. And the third goal, which clinched the match by Cristiano Ronaldo, was a thing of collective beauty put together with Karim Benzema and Gareth Bale, reminding us again how brilliant that front three is. But Almeria were really good. I think they showed why they're a bit better than their league position suggests and also why a few people were a bit sad to see their former coach, uh, Francisco, go recently. They've got Miguel Rivera in interim charge uh, at the moment and he could have been celebrating at what would have been quite a point uh, given uh, El Real's recent record. Uh, Vertha scoring a fantastic belter from range to bring them level once. He could have done it a second time. Uh, he had a penalty which was saved by Iker Casillas and it was a really vital save with Barcelona dropping points on Saturday and Atleti losing on Sunday allowing El Real to stretch that lead a little bit further. Yes, he's the latest addition to Villarreal's illustrious canon of Argentinian stars. And 21-year-old Luciano Vieto has been excellent since arriving at El Madrigal in the summer. We had a little reminder of his roots when they played away at Atletico Madrid on Sunday afternoon. He enjoyed a, a little hug with Diego Simeone, who gave him his first professional contract uh, back at home at Rathing before kickoff. Well, he didn't really do much for his old gaffer after that, scoring the winner to end Atleti's 27 game unbeaten home run in La Liga. It ended a high quality game and it was a high quality goal from a young player who really is worth watching out for over the coming months. Eight goals already this season and there's plenty more to come. And neither Real Sociedad nor Athletic Bilbao had exactly set La Liga alight. And it was under rainy skies at the Anoeta that the first Basque derby of the season took place. Uh, and it was a pleasing enough spectacle, certainly in terms of intensity. And David Moyes had the perfect start, four minutes in. Carlos Vela, who scored all Vadeal's goals since the Scott arrived, got another one and it looked like they were quids in. But Athletic uh, came back very, very strongly and equalised in the second half with a fantastic volley, almost Van Basten-esque uh, by Oscar De Marcos. And so even though it wasn't quite the authoritative performance that Moyes was looking for, it's giving him enough of that credit in the bank that we were talking about last week that he's going to have room to express himself going on over the winter months. A little sense as well that his tactics are coming together with him looking very good on the counter-attack. Now looking forward to next weekend, no Real Madrid of course because they're off at the World Club Cup. Uh, but there's a big enough game at San Mames between the aforementioned Athletic and Atletico Madrid, all the Doki Blancos together. And Athletic are putting together a good mini run after having their challenges at the start of the season. Only one defeat in eight and they're going to provide a really stiff test for Atleti who have to come back um, from that first home defeat in ages that we were talking about to Villarreal and also cut the gap to Real Madrid. Uh, which is currently at seven points. Atleti really haven't done that much wrong this season, but Real Madrid have set such a relentless pace that Atleti really can't let them slip away if there's going to be a title race the other side of Christmas. And if they don't manage it, then Carlo Ancelotti and his mates will be laughing into their tagines. Right, that's it for this week. Uh, leave your comments below or tweet me at Andy Brass. Or tell us if you think anyone can stop Real Madrid. What do you think of Luciano Vieto in his early months in Spain? Or anything else you want to bring up about La Liga? Don't forget to click to subscribe. And of course, remember there are other great videos on Germany, France and Italy. And we will see you soon here on Guardian Football.